What is up you guys? Born to Grind here with another old school RuneScape video. Today we are doing the Forsaken Tower quest and I actually downloaded this new, well new to me, plugin and it's a quest helper. So we are here. Let's go ahead and get it started. Got all the requirements. Let's go get it going. Talk to this lady in here. Everything looks pretty cool. I'm interested to see how much easier it makes things for us. And I just kind of skipped through some of the dialogue here. Um, apparently, long story short, the Winter Todd gates have a crack in it, and the boss on the inside is slowly sucking power through the crack and we have to go fix the crack all right and we use our games necklace here for a quick teleport and we're going to talk to undor the blacksmith he is going to say that he needs a very specific hammer no not thor's hammer then the ancient god that forged the winter todd doors in the first place and that is where we're going to make our way to the forsaken tower All right, we have made it here to the tower and our quest helper updated. We are doing a casual slow RP walk to the doors. Nothing better than a slow RP walk during a quest. Open the door and bam, the hammer is going to be right here in this display case, but unfortunately we can't just grab it. We gotta do some puzzles first, and that is where this plugin really did shine for me. Um, it would have taken me a lot longer to do it. Shouldn't be too hard though. Close that out. We are going to see what we need. We need a five gallon container and a eight gallon container, and we are just going to grab those and pretty much it is a case of getting four gallons exactly and pouring it into um the other thingy to turn on this furnace slash incinerator and it has all these steps just listed out could not have been easier reading through the guide on the wiki it was a little confusing but i knew that i'd figure figure it out And this plugin really does help you step by step. I just took it slow here. I really wanted to make sure that I did not mess this up for the video because I did not want to do this all over again. It's already confusing enough as it is, but I end up doing it. And we are going to use this five gallon jug that has four gallons in it on the furnace. Note, if you do not do this with the correct gallons, which is four, it will cause you 25 damage, I believe. It is a mistake that you do not want to make if your health is not very high. With that done, here is a second puzzle. We go downstairs and we have this weird funky tile here. We're going to open this door, search this crate, and get a crank generator, or bleh, a crank for the generator. Sorry, it is very late when I'm recording this. And we're going to put that crank in there and solve this puzzle. Again, the Quest Helping plugin it does help you with this puzzle as well, it makes it really, really easy. Oh, 
All right, super duper easy. Just click every tile that is highlighted until it is no longer highlighted. You can begin to start seeing a pattern form here. And when you complete this, we will have two of the puzzles done. And just a few more clicks to go and we can be on our merry way. And we are finished. Time to go back upstairs. And this potion puzzle is the one puzzle that it did not help me with. Um, you have to read the clues, which I believe are random for each person, and pick the correct vial off of um, a shelf. So in the cupboard, we are going to find a note and read them for to see what we need to do. And from reading this, I ended up discovering that the cleansing fluid was the very last one, um, the one all the way on the right. It took a little bit of deciphering. It wasn't too hard, though. Just take your time with it. When I first read through, I thought I had it right, but I had to double check, but <laughs> had to double check. So there is the refinery. We have to go all the way across and get that solution. I had a little kerfuffle there. And I picked the fluid on the far right. Let's cross our fingers here. All right, and that is the third puzzle solved. On to the last puzzle, which may or may not be the most complicated for you, depending on, um, you know, your puzzle ability. The point here is to have, you see how it's in a cone shape with the rings. You want the littlest rings to be on the middle pylon. You want it to start little and go bigger. This plugin for helping requests saved my butt. Oh my gosh. I would have never figured this out. I would have been tapping back and forth from the game to the wiki. And this really did just make it so much easier. And we are finishing up here very quickly. And it will take us back downstairs to where we will then be able to get that hammer the whole reason we can't gotta get those doors fixed casual RP walk expect nothing less got the hammer we're gonna use our game snack list go back to winter Todd talk back to Udor. I think that was his name <laughs> talk to the blacksmith door give him the hammer and probably save the world Yeah, Undor, I was right. Yay. All right, here's your hammer, dude. Do what you do best. And with that, folks, he can get back to fixing the doors. I'm going to go back and turn this quest in. All right, and on that note, we are pretty much finished here, you guys. 
We started this at 20% favor and we are going to get our 10% certificate to bring us to 30%, which will unlock the tier one armors so we can continue on our quest to get 100 Lovakinj favor. Thank you so much for tuning in, you guys, and if you like the video, drop a like on it. Please consider subscribing. I do money-making content, quest guides, and um, I have an upcoming bot detection series with the new Runelight plugin, Bot Detector. Um, give it a try. I've already got almost 5,000 confirmed bans, and on that note, you guys, I am out.